What are you poaching on my lands for? Come, enjoy a meal with me. I actually, I... I had a proposition for you. Who's out there? What are you sneaking around for? Come back and find an arrow in your eye. Next time you use here, I am revoking my... Bear. What are you poaching on my lands for? Uh, it attacked me. I had no choice. Are you grave? Yes, it is. The war around here can be temperamental, unfortunately. Yes, but not hard to deal with. Good, good thing. There are some sizable boar around here, though. Ones with tusks the size of daggers. Oh, I've seen those. I just steer clear. This damnable fog is so thick. It would be foolish to travel in a fog thick as this. You'd find yourself lost, or maybe you find yourself wandering into the spirits' domain. The spirits? You, um. You heard the voices too? Didn't hear the voices, but I felt something pulling me in a direction. I'll show you something. Follow me. For me, it was more like this as well. I didn't hear or see anything like my friends did, but I felt something. I feel that they have brought me in the right direction. So I made something in their honor. I do not know what the spirits look like, but I imagine they fly like birds. I made something in their honor. Perhaps one day I will see what they look like and I can craft something better in their image. Mm. If you want to give praise to the spirits, this place right here, place to do it at. I've never really been a, a worshipping kind of man, but I like your, I like your peace about here. I don't know. I do not worship the spirits, but uh, I respect their presence. If it wasn't for them, I would still be out there on the ocean, lost in a storm. I'd be still on that damn mountain without any without anyone to help me. I hope to understand our purpose soon enough. One day. Mm. Who's to say it will be? You were lost in a mountain for a while, you said. Yes, um. Quite a long time, actually. Just held up in a cave. I then, remember um, myself coming over the ridge once my boat was wrecked upon the cliff sides. Those blizzards, storms, or something of you. We're blinded like we are now, but only worse. Hmm. I, was I um, to wander through it fairly quickly. I was held up in a cave for something like a week. When all of a sudden, three of the people that I'd shared the ship with to go to the Isles somehow found me. They were on the same ship I was. And we all knew of each other at least. One of them had actually been pretty cozy with me on the ship. And we all banded together and traveled down the mountain together. Where are they now? They are with me. We are now the Black Wolf group. I remember that, the Black Wolves. I imagine since you are near, you're probably based around here somewhere then. 
We are. Come, enjoy a meal with me. Imagine you are hungry. You're wandering around out here on your own. I've actually just stuffed myself on neck meat, but I could use another bite. Why were you exiled? You don't mind my asking. I, um... It's a bit of a long story. I believe we have time, considering the conditions right now have not lightened up. Make yourself comfortable. You never know when the Empire's gonna strike again. But, I suppose you're right. So, the long and short of it was, I was a thief. And I took things that didn't belong to me from enough wealthy people that it took notice. So you were a thief. Are you not one still? I use the skills, but taking things from others that have nothing really serves no purpose. Taking things from others that have just the same amount as you really serves no purpose. You're just stealing for stealing's sake at that point. I was more of a, um, an information gatherer. I suppose you could say. I had a network of people who would tell me things. And I had more people who would tell me things under the pressure of a knife. I can see why you were banished then. Mm -hmm. I know many around where I am raised do not have a kind taking towards those who steal or those who intimidate, I suppose. I didn't grow up like most so people who have an aversion to stealing have never had to steal to eat I find sometimes it's different it's similar I grew up in the far north of the empire near Windy Mountain the base the soil was rocky and barren there were villages out there. Our jobs were to grow what we could, fish what we could, and deliver it to the Empire. Unfortunately, there wasn't enough food to go around. So, the people took up to raiding their neighbors when things got bad enough. Family feuds began. Uh, unfortunate culture of killing and backstabbing Continued on for a while. Eventually, the Empire will go tired of it because they weren't getting their share of food. They'd come through and punish everybody. Things would be quiet for a time. Till more mouths to feed came around. Folks became desperate again. And the raging happened all over. The Empire didn't care too much. They'd show up when it got bad enough for them. This is what I grew up with. We didn't steal. We killed each other for it. It was yours afterwards. That's how we see it. That's how I see it. I find that, um, not killing people for the things they have suits me more. It, uh, prevents a series of revenge killings in that yes. regard. Yes. Very much so. Perhaps this new land is, will be different. Things is bountiful. There's food everywhere. Fresh water. Just down the way. There are creatures that are brutal, but... 
Sooner or later, things always twist on their head. And someone like me is necessary. Who in the Empire did you steal from to be exiled? <laughs> well, I stole from many folks. Mostly the rich. And I, um... Was a uh, patron of an orphanage that a lot of sickly kids frequented. But um, mostly I stole for myself. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to cheapen it. But my main trade was, like I said again, in information. Gathering secrets. Telling those secrets to those that would pay. That is a dangerous job, having knowledge of others, especially when they do not want the knowledge to be shared. I presume then he wanted your head. I was, um, very popular. <laughs> but, um, uh, the Empire soldiers got me first. It was after a, um, particularly, uh, high profile job went sideways and what kind of job was that the kind of job from stealing from royalty of course you're being uh withholding what does it matter now you're in a new land the empire's not here <laughs> and none cared to uh Probably have you, I don't know, killed, perhaps, or start, I'd imagine, yourself. There are always people who, even though they were set upon, are still trying to curry favor, still trying to claw their way back. And I... Imagine that I would curry a lot of favor. So, staying withholding is just a safety precaution. I'm sure you understand. Mm -hmm. I believe I understand. I think this goes without being said, but I will say it anyways. If I ever catch you stealing from me, I'll have you beaten the first time. The second time will be less kind. I actually, I, I had a proposition for you. What would that be? You offered to. You offered to a friend of mine certain concessions for information on the settlements of the peoples. That'd be rusty, I imagine. Then. A. Uh, Sure. Rusty. Yes. Um, you don't sound sure. You would think of somebody else then, I believe. I have many friends. Um, but, like I was saying, I would be willing to gather such information for you. I already have some. What would you like in return? Supplies every once in a while. Coin, if it ever becomes available in this backwards backwater. I'll tell you this. I'll pay you for the information when you have the information. And when you have something to trade, I'll trade it. But I won't pay you on a regular basis unless you have information. That's all I ask. It's perfect. All I want to know at this very moment are a few things. Who are the spirits? Why are we chosen? What do they look like? Do they have names? Some questions. Another questions are, who are my neighbors? How are they living? Do they want to trade? What kind of people are they? Those are simple questions as well, but important to know. 
what I have gathered, there is the large river that is to your northeast. One moment. Who's out there? What are you sneaking around for, huh? Start to run? Show yourself. Come back and find an arrow in your eye. Next time you see her, every moment you like. Bear. land, sneak around like vermin. That's why you two are different. You said you were a thief. You said you were someone who looked in the shadows, but you made yourself known to me on my property. You weren't skulking around like a common bandit. I want for things to be different in this land. People like I him do. are the reason I am the way I am. Where were we? Since we were so rudely interrupted by filth. My goodness. This place did grow up fast, didn't it? I worked hard, grinding my skin against the bone to put up these fences to build what I could. I've had help, though. Not just me alone. Where we were was I was going to tell you about this river and some of the settlements that we are, I found up yes. along it. Um, there is a woman along the bank here where, as you travel east. On the left side of the bank, she is called Lazana. Um, and she is shacked up with a, a knight, calls himself Lars. They are around here, I'll point to it on my map. Then there is Nazim's group, who I have found to be here, just to the north, north, east, north, east, north, east. Nazim's group seems to be amenable. They seem to have an eye and an ear for trade. That's good to know. It seems many have chosen to settle on the other side of the river, near where most of us traveled through those ruins in the mountains. And um, for the time being, if you open your map once more, This is where you can find me. If you are to make a small dock on the other side of the river, I will build a raft for, for passage. This water might be too deep for a, a bridge. Our encampment is meant to be well hidden. Fair enough. Okay, then in mind then. I will not speak of it. There are also um, going to be many trees planted around it as soon as we can plant trees. So, might be a little hard to find, even knowing where it is. But I assure you it's there. 
since you are camped nearby and I assume you'll be staying there for some time. Hmm, a little while. We like to be... We like to be mobile. Move around sometimes. It keeps your enemies guessing. You're all right about this? I don't know if I've told this already, but I plan to make something great of this river's bend. Something for my children's children to hold on to for the future. If you find anybody out there who is level-headed, strong and willing to work, and want a place to live, I might offer them a piece of my land. Is in mind. If you find somebody, I will reward you. Something you ask for, and I will find it for you. Very good. And obviously, being a friend of the Black Wolf, you are protected by us. Are the thieves' guilds in the area? Should they give you trouble? Let us know. I'll keep that in mind, Glaive. I try to take care of my own issues. If I ask for protection, I'll ask for it. But don't go looking to protect me without my ASO. Keeps things from becoming muddy. I don't understand. Right. I will say that most of the time, thieves tend to just not like each other. On principle. No honor amongst thieves, I've heard said before. It is a very true saying. But I will bid you adieu, sir, and um, good luck with all of this. The river's bend, it's growing quickly and it is quite, quite serene. Before you go, Glaive, don't you require payment for the information you've shared with me? I was no. Imagine you would be free. <laughs> No, the first one's always free. I don't know. Well, I'll be around here if you're looking for me once more. I don't travel far, considering I have lots of work to do. You take care. You as well, my friend.